Hi, I'm Mike Brando from the University of Texas at Austin's Macomb School of Business. Recently, I've been getting a lot of questions about the economic impact of the swine flu. You say, hey, Brando, what's going on and how could this impact the overall economy? Two important things to consider. One, our expectations, and two, are how our economies are connected throughout the world. First off on expectations. Remember, one of the most important things that drives the overall economy are expectations. What do people think is going to happen in the future? True enough, only 50 people in the U.S. have been infected by the swine flu, but there's a great deal of uncertainty as to what's going to happen next. And remember, markets hate uncertainty. So as expectations turn negative, it can push a slowing down economy even deeper into the gully. The other problem is how the world's economies are interconnected. The swine flu, remember, is starting in Mexico. And last year, the U.S. did over $360 billion of trade with Mexico. Mexico is very, very important to the U.S. economy. So if that swine flu negatively impacts the Mexican economy, it can have a dramatic spillover into the rest of the U.S. economy. So even though the amount of people that have been infected by the flu are relatively small in the U.S., the economic impact could unfortunately be rather significant. We'll have to wait and see what happens to expectations and what happens to the Mexican economy because of this. Until next time, I'm Mike Brandel from the University of Texas at Austin's Bacomb School of Business.